Hey guys, it's Yuji. Today I thought I'd show you a quick tutorial in Maya, how to model a stylized house. So we're starting with Maya open here, and I'm going to go to the top left hand corner to grab a cube and bring it over here. And I'm just using my W key to get my translation arrows and the R key to get the scale arrows. And right now I'm selecting the top face and doing a control E to extrude the top face to translate it up and scale it to get a little house shape going. And I'll extrude the top face one more time and scale it down. Now I'm just going to select the, the edges on the side here, all of them. And I'm going to kind of squish them in like this to create uh, a roof shape and grab the top two ones and squish them in even more. And I'm grabbing now the faces again and doing an extrude, control E, to create the roof. I'm going to grab the top part again and just bring it up just a bit more. Just gonna get this roof in position here by uh, just manipulating the faces. Alright, we're gonna grab the front part here of the of the roof, the faces, and we're just going to extrude them forward. Now I'm tapering in the top faces of my roof. And I'm grabbing the faces on the inside of my roof and I'm going to do a control E once again and to extrude them, but this time inwards. That's looking pretty good so far. And I'm going to create some edges on my little house here. So I'm going up into mesh tools at the top and down to insert edge loop and I'm creating an edge loop at the base here and then I'll select the faces of this edge that I made and I'll extrude them to create a little base for my house
Next, we're going to create some edges along the sides of our house here. So I'm going into my modeling toolkit on the right hand side and I'm selecting the multi-cut tool. So I'm making point number one and then point number two and then hitting enter to confirm that line. The multi-cut tool is useful for creating custom edge loops between faces, vertices, or edges. Making sure that I get all of the sides here. Going back into face mode, I'm going to select all the edges that we just made and extrude them. Going back into object mode. I'm making sure that I save my project. Now we're going to create uh, the top plank on our house here. So I'm just getting another cube and just going to scale it into place here. And translate it up to where I want it. And I'm duplicating the same thing on the other side. When working, I like to keep my outliner very clean and organized. So I'm going to go ahead and select the nodes and group them by pressing Ctrl G. So I'm creating the master group so that I can move all of my polygons at the same time. So next we're going to create the window. So again, I'm going up into my uh, top left hand side in the modeling menu and I'm uh, getting my cube using the scaling arrows. I'm just going to scale it to roughly the shape of a window. I'm going to change the subdivision height and width in the uh, attribute editor. So to get to the attribute editor, um, I'm just clicking Control A on my keyboard. And going into vertex mode, I'm just selecting the vertices and scaling them in to taper in the um, the top of my window. And if you're working on small details, it's a good practice to isolate select the 
um, the object that you're working on. So to do that, you can press Control-1 and that will allow you to zoom in closer to the object you're working on without objects in the background getting in the way. Yeah, similar to the house, I'm creating some uh, edges along the sides of my window. And then going into face mode, we're just going to extrude them. to give our window some more depth. Now what I'm doing is uh, just giving my window a bit of a base at the bottom. So I'm just grabbing these faces and just bring them down. And I'm extruding the top faces of my window and tapering them in to sort of mimic the shape that we gave to the house. And by pressing Ctrl-1 once again, we're going to bring the house back and just position our window here where we want it.
And it's time to create the stairs. So once again, I'm grabbing the cube and scaling it. And I'm just duplicating that first step we made with a control D. Next, I'm just creating a little roof or awning over the front door. And I'm extruding the faces. rotating them upwards to give a, a slight curve to my roof. Now I'm just grabbing a cylinder to create the support of my roof. So in part two, we're going to finish up our house, bring in some additional assets, and I'll show you guys how to texture and paint this house, and we'll add in some lights. So stay tuned for part two, and let me know in the comments uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns. I'll do my best to answer them. All questions are welcome. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys at part two. Thanks for watching.